Hi everyone! Today we're going to see how to use two very useful shortcodes available in our plugin, Git WooCommerce Barcodes and QR Codes. Thanks to these shortcodes, you can manage stock, add products to the cart, and change the status of your orders in just a few clicks. Before we get into it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is insert the Yid product barcode shortcode into a page so we can scan products or type their codes on the front end. So we're going to create the page first. Let's go to pages, add new. I'm going to name this page products shortcode and I'm going to add a shortcode here. This is the shortcode that we have to enter here. I'm going to click on publish. And now let's view the page. Okay, so here's my title and here's the shortcode, okay? The shortcode adds this title, product barcode, this description, type or scan the barcode value here, and this input field. Enter the barcode here. I already generated the barcodes for my product, so I'm going to enter one of those codes here. So as soon as I type in the code, I get the product with its image, its title, the barcode that was previously generated, the stock status, and the options to increase or decrease stock. Keep in mind that for this to work, you need to enable stock quantity management at a product level. So you can also see the stock units here in stock status. And you also have the option to add the product to the cart. You can choose to enable or disable these three options in the product shortcode settings and simply decrease or increase the stock units automatically when the barcode is scanned or when you type in this code. Now, keep in mind that I typed in the code with my keyboard, but if you want to use a barcode reader or a barcode scanner app, you can of course do it. Just make sure that the barcode reader or the phone is connected to the computer since this function as a copy paste tool. So all they do is basically copy the number they're reading and then paste it onto the input field here we have selected in the computer, okay? Now, let's test these options. We have 10 stock units of these sneakers. Let's increase it by two. There, we automatically have 12 units now. Let's decrease it by one. I automatically have 11 units now. Let's add the product to the cart. There, now I'm going to go over to the cart page and you see I have these sneakers added to the cart. As you can see here, I just added one pair of sneakers. The quantity is one. The quantity you set here is not relevant to the add to cart option. Every single time you click on add to cart, you're just going to be adding one item to the cart. This only applies to increase or decrease stock. Now let's go ahead and do the same with the Yid order barcode shortcode. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go to pages, add new. We're going to name this page orders shortcode and we're going to add the shortcode here. There we go, Yid order barcode. Now let's publish and view page. Same thing happens here. I have the page title and the Yid order barcode shortcode adds this title, order barcode, this description, type or scan the barcode value here, and this input field where we can read, enter the barcode here. Since I already configured the plugin to generate barcodes for orders, I'm going to enter the code of an existing order on my site, okay? Again, we get the result automatically as soon as we enter the code. In this case, we can see the order details. We have the order number, the customer, when it was placed, the customer email address. We have the product that was purchased, the order status, which right now is on hold, the total amount, the barcode, and two buttons right here, 
a processing and a completed button. What these buttons do is basically change the status of the order to processing or completed. You can also choose not to show these buttons and simply set the order status to processing or completed automatically when scanning or typing in the code, okay? So, the order is on hold now. Let's update it to processing. There we go. It is processing right now. Now we can also change it to completed. It's that easy to change the order status. And of course, every single change you make using these short codes are going to affect your store. So they're going to be visible on your dashboard. Let's go back to the dashboard to commerce orders. And there we go. This is the order and this is the new status. It was changed from on hold to completed. The order is now completed. Okay, so that's how you can insert and use these two short codes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.